All right, guys. So, quick little video. Um, I was getting requested on Facebook. They wanted to see how I did the whole setup on the Eastwood PCS 250 dual voltage. Um, this is, in fact, uh, it's the black model. I mean, I don't know if there's a difference between the black model or the blue model. Make sure it's disconnected. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the nozzle. Um, the nozzle pretty much is off of a uh, Gima. Uh, I bought these off eBay. So I'll set the link to the one that I bought down in the description. That way you guys can get the exact same one. You know, since they're Chinese, I don't know if maybe they vary or something like that. But let me take this guy off right quick. So I have a piece of tape on here and I'll show you in a minute what that's for. Move that, just set that down for a little bit. So you can see there's no modifications done to the actual gun itself. Just set that in there for now. And this is just a nozzle, like I said. So, we got the towel here. So this is a piece that slides into the gun itself. Um, this one has not been cut off and this one has. So you can see that's more or less the difference there. Oh, the Drop the hopper. So, set that aside. This is the same exact piece as you can see. This is all that I've done to it. So on the back, the back I've actually trimmed down pretty much whatever it is that's gonna go inside the gun. So you gotta measure your electrode. Um, it's probably about a quarter inch in. So that's why I left about a quarter inch in there. So that's gonna go in there like that. Nice and snug. It's gonna fit like that. As it is, it won't fall off. But it did have a light little perch on the top, which is why I just wrapped it with tape. You don't really have to, but that's just something I did. All right, so moving on from that. This is the electrode that I believe, well, this is on the Chinese version, so I'm not sure if the actual real Gima uses it, but um, it's just literally a, um, a resistor inside. I actually see it down inside right there. Um, so what I did, I, I ended up, this is like, this was actually a little bit different. So we're just gonna set that aside right now that I'm noticing it. So as you can see, what I did is I had the same thing as this, but not so far deep inside as this one does. This one goes almost all the way all the way through. This one did. This one was just more on, on the tip. So can see all I did was just grab some um, some pliers some cutters and I just cut that piece off and then now it's just open that's pretty much all I've done to it just cut that piece off and trim this down um, for the nozzle itself I haven't really done anything to it so that basically just sits on there Actually, I did put a little slice in it. We can see it right there. For some reason, it was fitting a little bit tight, but I'm pretty sure you could just warm this up with the heat gun around on the edge and then slip it in. Then we should be able to fit it perfectly. Um, I'm not sure why I just cut it, but I was probably just in a rush. Um, another thing is the one that's untouched. The one that's untouched. See how it won't fit in there? Well, number one, because the electrical is hitting, but it's not the right size. It's a tiny bit bigger. After you cut it down, heat it up with the with the heat gun a little bit, and then slide it in enough to where it just compresses. And then that's it. That's how you get this on there. fall off or nothing you jiggle it around look at that and then you also have the option to twist 
for, you know, just moving around the pattern. All right, so that's pretty much all that's done with the tip. So let's move on to the hopper. The hopper itself is from Columbia Coatings. Forgot to put the weight on the bottom of it. So the hopper itself is from Columbia Coatings. So just put some powder in there. So that's what it looks like. It actually comes with the tubes and this little manifold that you know flops around the the powder. So. So the hopper, the tubes, and the actual fittings, they all come in one piece. Um, this is just their standard hopper. I know they have two versions of it. This is just a regular standard hopper. Um, silicone hose and uh, air pressure hose. Those were also bought off of, um, off of uh, Columbia. That way, I know everything's fitting together. As for the gun, the same way. This, these are the ones that come from the hopper. So this is your air, your air to the hopper, and this is your air mixture with the uh, with the powder coming back into the gun that disperses for here. Let's see if I can cut this off, and I'll show you basically what it looks like under this gun here. This is the only real piece that you have to modify. Not really modify, but a little pain in the butt to get off. So your original one. comes with the bottle so this cap is literally just held on by this piece and the piece that goes here which is this guy here so like that so this threads in there and this threads in there so this one I got out pretty fine just some pliers and unscrewed it and then this one, that thread actually broke in there. I have to get a screwdriver and kind of like dig it out, poke it around and get it out. And I ended up using one of these uh, brass ones that I had laying around. This is, I believe, a 1 8 uh, national pipe thread. It's about an inch long. You get to the Home Depot for like, a, you know, two bucks, three bucks, whatever it is. So you remove both of these just to get this cap off. Set that aside, throw it away, whatever you want to do with it. This one gets threaded back in. Um, I did use a quarter inch drill bit to pretty much make the opening a little bit bigger to slide my holes in there. Um, if you get this from Columbia Coatings, you can just see it, it won't fit. So you can use whatever size drill bit you want, but I believe it's a quarter inch. Um, if you can see a little bit closer, um, all that that is, that's just from a hot glue gun. When I stick it in there, I just put hot glue around just to make sure it doesn't slide out. And I've never had any issues with it. Uh, this one, like I said, is just a 1 8 pipe thread. Just put it back in there and done. And that's the hose. The hose just slides in. There is some friction to it, so it doesn't slide out as easy. But for good measure, so I always put a small zip tie on there and done. Um, other than that, I, that's the only thing that I did. I did get this. Um, I'm not sure what this is. This is used for wiring, just to keep everything together, just to make more nice and neat that we don't have, you know, you have your button, you to activate the electrode, you have the air holes and the return line. So it just makes it a little bit more neat if you have all of it put together. That one I bought at Home Depot for a few bucks. Um, it's in the electrical section. I might have a piece here so I can show you guys what it is. So it's called Spiral Wrap. The one that I use is three and a half by threes. This guy here. So, about two packs. There's actually two pieces in here, so you only need to buy just one. So, that's an extra piece. Right that aside. And that's pretty much, I believe, don't think that's it. Oh, somebody was asking me, how do I clean this holes? So, to clean this holes, I'm not gonna do it today. It's a little bit, it's a little bit late in the day. Uh, far residential area here in California, so we don't have like those big old bars in the back here. Literally my neighbors are next door. 
I want to wake them up. So I use this stuff in here. Um, polyfoam cock saver, moisture repellent. I mean, it doesn't really matter what it is, but this stuff. Um, all I do is just get like a little small piece, say about a bean. It's about, I don't know, a little bit over a quarter inch, maybe about three inch or so. Three is still half an inch. And what I'll do is I remove my hoses on both ends. I'll blow some air through it first, get whatever I can out of it. And then these guys are they're pretty collapsible. Just throw it in there as much as you can. So it'll look like that. Put your air gun, and then this stuff will inflate and flex a bit. So once you blow air through it, it'll shoot out through the other side. Just make sure that it's disconnected from the hopper. So I do this two times. Let's see if I can get it back out. But I clean up the hopper tomorrow, anyways. Um, so I do it twice. So I shoot it one from the gun side to the hopper, and then I do it on the second pass from the hopper back towards the other way. And that pretty much cleans it all up for me. I've never had any issues with it. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Other than this little cheap wooden stuff that I just, you know, had laying around, I just pretty much mocked it up together. Um, other than that, um, yeah. You guys saw that video of me shooting. Um, does have a pretty good fan on it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, let me know on here or on Facebook. Um, so. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this, so I just figured I'd just make a quick video. Um, quick note before I go. Um, this idea actually belonged to the Hopper idea. It actually belonged to, I think he's, his name is uh, Royal Royal Coatings, I think his name is. I, I'm not sure what the guy's name is, but Royal Coatings. He does have a video of how he did his, it's similar, except that he has the blue gun and I have the black gun. So this was his idea. So I just want to, you know, give him credit, you know, credit where credit is due. Um, so just want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said, any questions or anything, you know, put them down in the comment section. I'm pretty good at responding or just ask on Facebook. Um, I'm not really too much on Facebook. I'm pretty new at it as well. It's pretty weird. <laughs> but yeah, leave them down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer all the questions. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.